one cannot be concerned about violence in the U.S. and not be concerned about the uh, perpetuation of violence by the U.S. state uh, abroad. It is a moral and political contradiction. In the sign Barack of policies uh, when we win the White House is that we will use the power of the state to uh, reduce the level of, of violence and destruction that has become normalized. We will use this state as an instrument of peace. We would, in fact, embark on what uh, Dr. Stein calls a peace offensive. And this is not an offensive that will demonstrate weakness, but one in which it would demonstrate strength, uh, a commitment to uh, new principles, a commitment to a vision of the world that says that we can, in fact, cooperate. But it is a, a vision and an approach that uh, recognizes that we cannot have cooperation if we are committed to dominance. So this peace offensive is uh, the cornerstone of our, of our foreign policy. Um, but we know there will be resistance because we have some very powerful forces uh, who are only committed to uh, a foreign policy that is based on uh, U.S. global hegemony. We believe that that is unsustainable, and we believe that the American people are in fact calling for a new approach because the strategy of permanent war, which is the centerpiece of this uh, uh, approach to a world, uh, uh, world dominance, is something that is unsustainable because the American people are paying a heavy price for it. In this country, uh, veterans are uh, killing themselves at the tune of something like every 19 minutes. So people pretend that they care about veterans, but if you cared about veterans, you would oppose the policies of permanent war. You would understand that the way you care about veterans is to keep them out of conflict. So we will use the strength of this country, its potential, uh, to reverse the kind of aggression uh, and war policies that have characterized both parties for the last few decades. So for those who say that, uh, for example, black lives matter in the U.S., but then they are silent when it comes to uh, death and destruction in Yemen, or in the Gaza Strip, or in Iraq, or in Syria. That is a political and moral contradiction. And we say that if you are in this country and you are silent when it comes to the aggressive policies by the state, in various parts of the world, then you are in fact complicit. You are morally complicit. So we have to have a, a policy, we have to have an approach to um, how we relate to the world that is more in line with the kinds of values that we say this country is supposed to be about.